Yo, yo, what's going on? Y'all already know it's your boy Santo with Toxic Shocks, and today I'm gonna be bringing you another fly ass pair of some customs. Uh, this one's gonna be a little light work, you know. I'm gonna be uh, showing you guys how I change the color, how I strip and repaint and change the color on a midsole. But uh, yeah, today I'm gonna be doing these. Got the rose color, rose colored uh, midsole, as you see right there. I'm gonna be stripping all this color down and uh, repainting it. So, I'll show you how I do it. At least uh, how I get this paint to stay on. And like I said, it's tricky, but uh, we're gonna learn today how to get it done. Uh, yeah, subscribe, smash that like button, and. When I'm done with this video, I'm going to start recording so I can bring you guys another one. And uh, you already know after I'm done with that one, I'm going to bring you another one. After that, another one, and another one, and another one. And uh, subscribe, Toxic Custom Sneakers. You already know, I'm brand new to this YouTube thing, man. So, like I said, I need some views, man. Check the videos out. See it. If you like it, you like it, man. You know? You guys support me and I'll be able to bring you guys more and more. And I got a, a lot. I got a lot of stuff to show you guys, man. I'm going to teach you guys how to get this shit done, man. You heard? So like I said, follow your boy. All right? Let's get this started. Let's get it. Six custom sneakers and today I'm gonna be showing you how to strip and repaint a pair of kicks using clean strip paint and varnish remover it's too hard acetone we got the scotch 2060 this is some of the best tape on the market It's very very good a little bit expensive but good and uh, this is my favorite and uh, I'm gonna be using repainting with pearlescent sterling silver uh, we're gonna need uh, our rags. I keep, always keep a bunch of these rags on deck, you know, whatever. Uh, my mixing jar. And you always want to use a separate brush for the, for the varnish remover. Because this stuff is gonna eat away at the bristles no matter what. So even after you clean it, you're done. It's gonna look uh, kind of messy and all ragged on the end. But you keep this on the side tape it to the bottle or something and you use it just for when you're gonna be using this again so you don't want to have to throw out a brush and reuse it every time but uh, like I said and at the end once I'm done repainting I'm gonna go over uh, since it's gonna be pearlescence I'm gonna be going over with this satin finisher so basically these are the supplies uh, to repaint the midsole so there you go let's get it
what's up guys now remember when you're when you're gonna be mixing or uh, using too hard right you got to remember please remember when you're applying to a flexible surface as like a midsole the rubber you know any, any part that's gonna be flexing you're gonna be using a 50 50 ratio of one to one a 50 50 mix that's gonna be 50% too hard 50% paint now if you're gonna hold up if you're gonna be painting a, a rigid surface then you're gonna be using a three to one ratio which is gonna be three parts too hard one part paint 75% too hard 25% paint so you gotta keep those keep those uh, ratios in mind So here's the finished product guys, uh, hope you guys like it and uh, thank you so much for watching and don't forget to subscribe, smash that like button and share with your friends. If you really want to support the channel, you got to share the video, put your people on, let them know, subscribe, stay in tune, turn that notification button on so when I put new content, you'll be notified immediately and uh, also leave a comment and let me know what kind of custom you guys want me to do next. Any requests, let me know. I'll work on it. Alright? Later.